An elementary introduction to the Wolfram language. Lesson 8. Basic Graphics Objects. In this lesson, we will begin talking about one of Mathematica's most powerful tools, its graphics capabilities. To start, we will begin by learning about the basic graphics objects, and then in later videos, we will get into more complex things, like specifying the position and size of the objects. Here, we will make a circle. Note that when programming it, it always must be wrapped in graphics. So here I'll type circle of nothing, and then I'll wrap it in graphics, hit shift enter, and as you can see, I get a circle. Here, we will make a disk. So I'll type disk of nothing, wrap it in graphics, hit shift enter, and as you can see, we get a disk. The difference between circle and disk is that circle only draws the outer line of a circle, whereas disk also fills in the inside of it. The next function we will talk about is regular polygon. Here, we will use it to make a pentagon. So I'll type regular polygon of 5, and then I'll wrap it all in graphics. Hit shift enter, and as you can see, we get a pentagon. Here, I will make a table of regular polygons. So I'll type regular polygon of n, then I'll wrap it in graphics, then I'll wrap it in table, comma the list of n, comma 3, comma 8, I'll hit shift enter, and as you can see, I get everything from a triangle to an octagon. If you want to mix more than one graphics object into a single graphics environment, you make the input into graphics a list of graphics objects, for example, a circle, disk, or regular polygon. Here, I will mix circle and regular polygon. So here I'll type graphics of the list of regular polygon of 5, comma circle of nothing, hit shift enter, and as you can see, I get a pentagon inscribed in a circle. For those of you wondering how regular polygon works, I'll give you a brief explanation. In the background, it is using polar coordinates and rotational geometry to equally space end points around a circle. When those equally spaced points are connected, they form these regular polygons. So here I'll type graphics of the list of regular polygon of n, comma circle of nothing, then I'll wrap it in table, comma the list of n comma 3 comma 8. As you can see above, every one of the regular polygons is formed by connecting equally spaced points on the circle. Now I have a feeling that these black shapes are a bit boring to you, and that's because they need a little flavor, they need a little styling, and lucky enough for us, we have the function style. So here we'll type regular polygon of 5, then we'll wrap it in style, comma red, then we'll wrap it all in graphics. Then we'll hit shift and enter, and we get a red pentagon. Another way of changing the color that does not use the style function is to put the color before the graphics object in a list. So here we'll type graphics of the list of red, comma regular polygon of 5, comma blue, comma circle of nothing, hit shift enter, and as you could see, we get a red pentagon inscribed in a blue circle. If adding color into your graphics isn't fun enough for you, that's okay, because I'm about to make things a little more interesting. I'm going to make it 3D with the function graphics 3D. Here, let's make a sphere. So we'll do sphere of nothing, then we'll wrap it in graphics 3D, hit shift enter, and as you can see we get a sphere. Here, let's make a cube with the function cuboid. So we'll do cuboid of nothing, then we'll wrap it in graphics 3D, hit shift enter, and as you can see we get a cube. Here let's make a cone and a cylinder within a list. So we'll do the list of graphics 3D of cone of nothing, comma, graphics 3D of cylinder of nothing. We'll hit shift enter and as you can see, we get a cone and a cylinder right next to each other in a list. And just like with 2D graphics, you can style them too. So here we'll do style of cuboid of nothing, comma green, then we'll wrap it all in graphics 3D, hit shift enter, and as you can see, we get a green cube. Here, we'll do graphics 3D of the list of yellow, comma, cone of nothing, hit shift enter, and as you can see, we get a yellow cone. Here, we'll do style of sphere of nothing, comma, red, then we'll wrap it in graphics 3D, hit shift enter, and we get a red sphere. Here, we'll do graphics 3D of the list of purple, comma, cylinder of nothing, hit shift enter, and we get a purple cylinder. In coloring your graphics, feel free to use either one of the two methods we have just used. I personally prefer doing it in the list format without style, but it is really a matter of preference. A few lessons from now, we will cover positioning and sizing graphics objects. If you don't want to wait for that lesson, use your good friend the documentation with the question mark. 
So here I'll type question mark of graphics and hit shift enter. If you want to see many good examples, click on the little blue arrow. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next lesson.